Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am going shopping and I'm really needing to get some groceries. I thought I would take you with me because I wanna go look in the Dollar Tree first before I get my groceries. So I thought I would take you with me and see what they've got. I'm also gonna be going to the grocery outlet and Walmart. Okay, right off the bat, as soon as I walked in the door, I found something new, these candle holders. I think they're pretty, I love the colors, but they've got like a texture on the outside that looks like it could wash off. Okay, I always have to look at the candles and had to stop over here. This is weird to me, it's got like a pom-pom on top, but it has like no label, like no pretty label, packaging label, just like, directions so I thought that was weird um, I also found these and I don't remember seeing these before um, I think they're okay like maybe as a gift but I don't know I don't they're not enough to make me want to buy them so I'm always looking in the craft area and it is so greatly improved it's like it's got its own area now before it seemed like it was just kind of randomly here or there I actually see so many things, I, I'm getting these for sure, but I see so many things that I wanna stock up on as soon as I get my craft room in order. I'm coming back to stock up on essentials. Okay, I just have to say, I am so impressed with how much Dollar Tree is giving us as far as crafting supplies. Um, they've obviously been listening and recognizing people want this. Okay, I've seen these in a few DIYs on YouTube and I'm tempted to get some, but I'm in the middle of moving my craft room to another, like actually a separate building outside. So, but I'm just so impressed. Okay, I have gotten one of these in the past. I got a white chalkboard pen. Um, chalk pen I guess that's what you call it chalkboard pen <laughs> I haven't tried it yet though so I don't know if it works okay every time I come in the paint is like cleared out I've never tried their paint but it's obviously you know something people are going for okay this this is a good deal I've bought the glitter sheets at Walmart and they're like two something and that's per sheet, so that comes with three. So this is new, a candle making kit. I'm curious about it. It doesn't look like too many are missing from the shelf, so maybe it's something they just put out, or maybe it's just not popular, I don't know. Let's open it up. Okay, it looks pretty basic. It smells really good. So I always have to look at the candle holders and they do have a few new ones. Um, these look, they look like vintage to me, except for there used to be some years ago that were clear, but that same shape. Okay, so I'm looking at the glitter glue. I've used it at, I think Christmas is the only time I ever really have used it, but these big bottles that is such a good deal for a buck so I mean I haven't tried it so I don't know if it has a lot of glitter in it but that is such a good deal so they have a ton of wooden cutouts and I am just blown away by this I'm I'm I love this and obviously everybody else does too, because look how cleared out it is. Um, it's been a while since I've been in Dollar Tree though, so I don't know if it's, you know, maybe it's been here for a while and I just didn't know it. These are super cute. Look at how like substantial they are. They're not like a flimsy little plywood. So I like that. Little whiteboards, super cute. I love the little wooden words because you can put them on anything. Like, you know, most popular would probably be a wreath. 
Um, I'm like always looking for stuff for my tiered tray. So, I don't know. Or like countertop stuff or things to put on shelves. Little things like that. But they have so many options. I love the arrows. Okay. This is always an area I have to look to. That's like where the decorative pictures or the art is. And look what I found. How cute is that? It is so cute. I'm getting that. And there's a cow. My daughter used to collect cow stuff. And a chicken. I'm getting the chicken too. How could I not? I think we'll I think I'm gonna put that in the store. And for those that maybe are new and watching, uh, my husband and I own a hardware store and we sell farm fresh eggs in there. So that's why I was thinking about that. So how cute is that? I love the little like shadow boxes and stuff. Okay, so look at this. This is intriguing to me. I, I, I love their little containers like this, um, but this one has a magnet on it. And the stickers, I always have to look at the stickers. I'm obsessed with the Dollar Tree stickers. And this is like rub-on transfer. It looks super easy. But look at how orderly the stickers are. They've got just so many now. It's like the craft area. They're just so orderly and so many my I'm I'm shocked because my Dollar Tree isn't usually this stocked with stickers it's just you know kind of a few so it's like its own little department over here <laughs> okay so they've got some new kitchenware like um, dishes and napkins and stuff they always come out with new ones it's kind of a, a mandala design um, it's very pretty. I love the colors. Very summery. Okay, these are new too. I think these are so, so cute. I have so many like little things like this. I'm like, I want to get one. I really like the light turquoise one, but I have so much stuff. Okay, so this is new. I The yarn is new in general, but this type of yarn... I've never seen it in here. All The only color they have is orange, but you know, if you're looking for something for fall, think ahead and maybe get that now if your Dollar Tree has it. I always look at their beauty supplies, um, their bath stuff and their makeup. Um, these soaps are cute, but I don't know how useful they are. <laughs> My skin is really sensitive, so. So they've got foot and hand masks. Or oh, okay, those are gloves. And just looking at the ingredients, um, I stood there for a while and looked at the ingredients, and it actually has some really beneficial ingredients in it. I have to say, I mean, you can always pause the video and look at the ingredients there. They have a really good beneficial ingredients in both the foot and the hand um, that would really work well so um, yeah that's kind of rare I think in the Dollar Tree um, but yeah so these are new I haven't seen these before um, I didn't smell any of them usually I'm the I'm the person in the store who's smelling everything because <laughs> I want to know what it smells like Okay, so I never buy razors, but this one caught my attention because it's like a different shape and kind of round, I guess, kind of a half moon shape. So I always look at the lotions and face masks. I literally never buy the face wipes in the Dollar Tree. My skin is just really sensitive. Um, I do use face wipes occasionally. I get them at Costco though. They're the only ones I've ever found that don't irritate my skin. But I have used some of their masks here. So, and I would say that they're good. Okay, so this Dove lotion, the pink one, there's a blue and a pink. I, I buy a couple of those at a time and I keep one in my car, one in my purse, one next to my nightstand. 
and I love those. And I also bought one of each of these and I bought them for like travel. So I haven't tried them yet. If you have, let me know how they work. So that looks like a good mask. So I always look at their makeup too. Um, I like it when I find like name brand makeup there. And e.l.f. is e.l.f. is one of those products that used to be really cheap and it's still very affordable, but their quality has just gone up so much. Okay, that gold eyeshadow, I have that and it works amazing. So um, yeah, finding name brand stuff at the Dollar Tree, I'm always, always interested in that. So Wet n Wild is another one of those products that has improved so much, um, their quality and the pigmentation and the, the staying power of it. I would say e.l.f. is better, but um, yeah. So this eyeliner, um, I actually bought this a little while back and I really like it it just kind of for the inner corner of your eye for like a highlighter it works really really good so I've seen that Revlon gold I'm not crazy about the color of gold it is I like a little bit richer deeper gold color so but they definitely have a lot of new stuff in here so LA colors is probably the staple Dollar Tree makeup, but I think they're really trying to improve their product. I can really tell. Okay, so this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, I have this one and I love it. it. The colors are just so beautiful and soft and very blendable. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty. I wish that they had more options than just that one color, but there's just so many new things here. And besides like holiday decor, seasonal decor, the makeup is probably one of my most chosen places to look at because I like finding new stuff. But yeah, you can see where LA Colors is really upping their game. And those lip scrubs looked interesting, but uh, I didn't get any, I have so many. So this looks interesting. But definitely love finding name brand stuff in the makeup. So I'm curious about the liquid eyeliner. If you've tried it, let me know. I'm, I'm not really into liquid eyeliner, but I am curious about it. This is beautiful. I love those colors, very summery. Okay, so this is new and like I said I went to the grocery outlet and Walmart after the Dollar Tree and I did see these at Walmart as well so and they were 98 cents at Walmart so around the same price but Walmart had like the other stuff that goes in the collection too so um, but yeah those were definitely interesting so nail polish at the Dollar Tree I never buy it um, it just doesn't last long on me but this is interesting. Um, and notice it's the only one. And I wanted to show you guys these. These bobby pins are just so cute and very on trend. So you, any store you go in, you're gonna see this style right now. So I thought it was great that Dollar Tree offered, um, you know, something similar, very decorative. And these elastics are so pretty. I've bought a couple of packs of these. So I'm one of those people that has an elastic around my wrist pretty much every day um, because I never know when I'm going to use it. And that way it's pretty. It's not just a plain looking elastic. It's, it looks like a bracelet. So I always look at their hair clips. They always have a really good variety and it looks like they just put a bunch of new ones out. So look at this giant one. I've never seen one that big in the Dollar Tree, so that's why it got my attention. So this is where I always buy like my brushes and hair stuff, um, always at the Dollar Tree. 
Okay, so this is new from Power Stick, and it's for blonde hair, and they do have another scent as well. And those look just really interesting. Okay, guys, I just left the Dollar Tree. I spent 44 something in there. So, yeah, they always get me because everything's a buck. Okay, guys, I just got home and I ended up getting more than I planned on. I know that has to happen to other people, but you go in the Dollar Tree and it's a dollar and they had so many new things. I love Dollar Tree stickers. I thought these were so, so pretty. So these are a Starburst gem sticker and these are black and white and these are like rainbow colored and I, I'll give you a closer look. These are jewel border stickers and I think I just bought two of those and it seems like I bought one of these before it seems like I've seen these in there before um, my craft room is a disaster area right now so who knows I might have a ton of these but I just thought those were so pretty so I also found these this is a rub on transfers and I'm excited to try these because seriously, if these work well, that is such a bargain for a buck. I mean, I think they're so cute. They're very rustic looking. And it gives you the instructions on the back. It looks like it's pretty easy. I am very excited to see how this works. I, if they would have had different designs, I would have gotten them, but this is the only one that I have seen. But I think it's really pretty. It's very antique looking. Wow, it just started pouring outside. Okay, so I know these aren't new, but they're new in my Dollar Tree. So I got two of the wooden, wooden where did that come from <laughs> the organizer the bigger boxes I've waited for so long I I love these and they have had these before this is the one with the lid and I do have one in my craft room and I love it it is so handy so and they're you know stackable so I was super happy about this I've waited and waited I thought this was a cute little chalkboard. I'm always looking for stuff for my tear tray. So that is definitely something that I was thinking of. So, and that's what I got this for too. And it's just a wood hanging decor is what it says, but it's a little cross and it's, you know, a pretty thick piece of wood. You can decorate it for any holiday. It's perfect for your tiered trays. Or, you know, even like putting it on a gift or putting it in a basket, putting it in a cornucopia, putting it in a wreath. I mean, there's like a million things you could do with these. So I love the wooden cutouts. So I did get a few more. I got a star as well. So I'm gonna do this when, I think I'm gonna do this 4th of July. So I think it's so cute. So I can have it on my buffet table for the 4th of July. I ended up getting these detailing scissors. I got these for my vanity. I like having a small pair of scissors at my vanity. So that's what I bought this for. Okay, I showed you guys these in the store. They are so, so cute. I love them. I just think they're so adorable. I really, I don't know if I even want to do anything to them. I just think they're so cute. They had wood letter, uh, wooden words as well. So I got, hello. And this one sits and it just says home. So I thought those would be cute. P 
piece. I'm thinking ahead at Christmas. This would be super cute. So I just want to see like with the wooden, wooden stuff that they have at the Dollar Tree right now. So I got two of their little bird houses. They actually look, a, no, they look the same, but I got two of those. I, I might do one 4th of July because I had mentioned that in my last DIY that I was really thinking about that. I think that it decorated for the 4th of July would be so cute in a tiered tray. But I'm trying to think ahead too. And I, I try to do that when I go to the Dollar Tree, looking at something that they might not have at, you know, during the fall time or at Christmas, I want to have like maybe I want to decorate one of these for fall or Christmas for my tear tray or maybe I want to put it on a wreath or in a cornucopia or in a cute little basket or you know maybe I want to put it on my Christmas tree or you know who knows what but I just think that with the wooden stuff try to think ahead to the holidays that maybe they won't have these I'm sure they'll have other things but you know, if you have a good idea in mind for any of these type of things, get them now and save them for the holidays. That's what I did with that um, little truck that I used in my last DIY. I saved it. I knew that I could take that Christmas tree off of the back of it and use it for any holiday. So yeah. Okay. I don't need these, but I have something in mind for these. I think that it's gonna be so cute. This is regular nail polish. And I buy the regular nail polish at the Dollar Tree. Um, and this was the only one. Apparently everybody's caught on to it. It's got the pump on top, which is very handy. But this is acetone. So it, it takes like, if you put glitter on your nails at all, or any sort of shimmer, anything with any glitter in it whatsoever, Nothing's gonna take it off except for acetone, or you're gonna be sitting there forever with your regular nail polish remover. So this is a super good find, because this would be a couple dollars at Walmart. So, yeah. I'm one of those people that buys the drink water, single to go water flavor packs. I. I always buy mine at the Dollar Tree and I got a bunch. Um, I usually buy them. I have some at home and my husband takes them to the store for him and the employees. So this is a new flavor, the Pink Starburst. I'm anxious to try that one. I also got Strawberry, the Sun Kissed Strawberry. Fruit Juicy Red from Hawaiian Punch. That one's been around for a while. Pineapple from Sun Kissed. I didn't think that I was gonna like these and then I tried them and they are so good. I don't always use these for water. I also like to buy the bubbly um, carbonated water. It, it's, I usually buy like the lemon lime to where it really doesn't have much of a flavor to it. And I'll add a flavor pack to that. And also add a flavor pack to a glass of tonic water and flavor it because if you've ever drank tonic by itself, it does not taste very good at all. It's very bitter, but I drink it because I have restless leg syndrome and it's got quinine in it and it does really help. Um, I do take magnesium too and I think that's the, the major thing that helps, but tonic water does help. I've got the orange, which is one of my favorite flavors and the purple from Hawaiian Punch. My husband likes that one. And a little pack of pretzels. My husband asked for these and I showed them to you upside down. But my husband asked for these for the store. I also found this power stick, pure sulfate free color protection, ultra blonde revive shampoo. We'll see. And it is purple. It doesn't have like a great scent to it, but I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, I actually found some good makeup there this time. So I got a Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner and I got the color Blackest Black. Normally I don't choose black. I, I like maybe a dark brown. I 
also found a Wet n Wild gel lip liner. I also found one of the silicone facial mask applicators. I've been waiting for my Dollar Tree to get these. What I, what I normally use is a popsicle stick, just because I don't want to put my hands in the jar and transfer germs. So I'm pretty excited that they finally got these. Okay. This, I ended up getting this. It's a magnetic little container and it's plastic, it's not metal. Some of their little containers like this are metal, but I have a DIY in mind for this, so. Okay, so I also got the LA Colors Tinted Lipstick. And it's the color Beauty. I'm not, I don't like bright lipsticks, so we'll see. So usually if I buy something and I don't end up liking it, uh, when my daughter Stormy comes to visit, then I'll just give, give her a box of, or a bag of random stuff that I've tried and didn't like. <laughs> so, but the packaging is super cute. And that is a very bright color. I don't know about that. <laughs> so I also got another one of these lanyards so i walk a couple times a week with a friend and i prefer to have one of these to carry my keys on so i don't have to carry anything attach my keys and this one had like pretty colors in it so my other one is pink pink doesn't always match everything so so I also got two of the Wet n Wild um, lip balm. This one is the color Shock and this one is the color Kiss. This one looks clear. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I like that. There's no scent. So this one is the color shock and it's a very pinky pink. Oh, and it's just like a light, this color here, just a very light pink. They're very moisturizing. So then I headed over to, well, I went to the grocery outlet and got some things there. I don't want to bore you guys with my groceries, um, but I will say at some point I must have pulled my phone out of my purse like the side pocket and I lost my shopping list and it was a pretty big shopping list so bit too big for me to remember everything that was on it so yeah I ended up probably not getting everything I needed and I got stuff that I know I didn't need <laughs> I got myself some more ponds cold cream this is my absolute favorite for at night Say at night, I never use this one in the morning because it is very, like it leaves your skin feeling kind of greasy. The first ingredient is mineral oil and it's got beeswax and it's just a very hydrating um, cleanser that I, I, I love the smell of it. It reminds me of my grandma. This Pons has been around forever. And I love it for at night, even though I have very oily skin. If I use this at night, I don't have to use as much other topical stuff. Um, my skin's not dry well, when I'm going to bed to go to sleep. This is my favorite nighttime cleanser. Next would be the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha Melting Cleansing Balm. Okay, so when you open it, it's just like a, it just kind of, it's kind of almost like a waxy feel. It melts 
to the touch. Um, it is just such a good, thorough cleanser that's, I find very nice because I have very sensitive skin. So it, it's just an all around great cleanser. Melts away makeup, deeply cleans away impurities and leaves the skin fully supple and hydrated. Antioxidant packed and enriched with matcha green tea, bamboo shoot and lotus extract. So, and it does come with a, a little scoop thingy here. Kind of like when you buy coconut oil and it's a solid coconut oil, that's what this is like. So I also picked up another nail color. It's just like a sheer color and it's called Ice Ice Cherry. I picked up another one of the found setting sprays and you guys may remember me talking about this. My husband asked me to get him some eye drops. So I got some eye drops and this was on clearance so i'm gonna try it um you guys rem might remember me talking about we have really hard water here and i feel like my hair is just not what i want it to be so this is an anti-brassiness purple shampoo and it is a very very dark purple so I'm anxious to try this. I also picked up some original formula airspun loose powder, loose face powder. This is a classic. This has been around forever. Got some sprinkles for the 4th of July. DIY in mind with a cake. I'm going to attempt to do a flag cake. Not like a flag on the outside, but like when you cut it open, it's a flag on the inside. I'm gonna attempt it. Um, yeah, we'll see. I might, I might share that with you guys. So um, if I make a fool out of myself, I guess I just do. So the last thing that I got at Walmart was a pair of Avia leggings and just plain gray um the reason i got them is because like i said i walk with my friend and i only have one other pair of leggings that have a pocket for my phone so i don't want to have to carry anything so that's it that's what i've got so let me know if you're if you've seen this stuff at the dollar tree um i'm sure you have i feel like my dollar tree has is like the last to get anything um but i enjoyed shopping today i bought non-essentials so <laughs> you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you next time bye bye